Lovely intro shot. I thought so. I like that. Yes. <laughs> Bailey Alliance 592. So it's under six metres, obviously the 5'9". It is. Is very useful. And we have now been in here, if it wobbles, certain someone is putting his coffee down and the whole camera just did No, this. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> there, is, there is. There is. <laughs> <laughs> So, the Bailey Alliance, <laughs> the Bailey Alliance. actually is an amphibious vehicle. <laughs> um, we've now been in here for two days. Yes, we have. And we've been wild camping that entire time. We've had showers. We've been using lights. We've had four of us in here for half the time because we're traveling with some friends of ours. And we've had dinner and coffee and breakfast and all sorts in here. Mm. So we're going to give you a quick run through of the van. What we like, what we don't like, what's better than ours and just give you a bit of a review on it shall we Sounds should, good. should we start at the back should we be a bit okay different adventurous let's start at the back. right so end kitchen which i didn't think i'd like but actually it's really nice having a little place it's almost like a bit of a utility room isn't it mm. so you can come in especially with a dog and sort of dry him off and take boots off and things I mean, we've been really lucky with the weather. It's been sort of sunny and nice and we haven't had to wipe out okay. wet stuff. Well, we've hit a couple of lakes. Not with the van. But, yeah. <laughs> He's been a bit wet. But we've been able to dry him here rather than normal vans with the door in the middle. Yes. So I'm quite a fan of the end kitchen. And one thing I've discovered I love is having a window at the end. Yes. A light. It's so nice actually being able to see through it. Yeah. yeah. So that's been really good. So kitchen huge amounts of storage like huge amounts of storage um enormous drawer here now we've just bought stuff for the weekend and kind of thrown things in so we haven't got any boxes we haven't got any proper storage things but there are like there's all our water and bags and stuff so much storage and under here a, there's a huge cupboard two drawers to it massive cupboard so yeah Big storage, nice oven. We haven't used the actual oven. Oh, look how clean and shiny it is. It's never been used. So the little oven with a grill. Yep. And then you've got a three burner hob with two small ones and a big one. There's no hot plate on these, which no, is I mean, the end it, of the world. It's, it's similar oven to ours. Yeah. Uh, it's slightly smaller than ours because we've it got is. a hot plate on there. And our little uh, baby camping we've, camp. we've got a separate grill as well. Yes, and I kind of like yeah. having a separate grill. Do you? It's not a deal breaker. Mm. But I kind of like having. Would you, would you sacrifice the grill to have the smaller motor home? Yeah, definitely. Because our biggest thing is that we, we're looking at downsizing. But we will get, we'll get to that in a bit. Okay. But yeah, no, having a separate grill is not a deal breaker. Okay. Um, this hatch, as we have seen already, I'm six foot, give or take a little bit, but Tash could not reach this at all. <laughs> Hi. Bye. I'm going backwards so that you can <laughs> see the actual over the, the, the um So I mean I can open this fine, but look how much I'm having to stretch. Yeah. And then it's one of these pushy uppy ones. So that's kinda I mean what's that? A seven and a bit foot? Easily. How a normal so. sized person is supposed to open that, I do not know. I mean I guess jump. you don't have to jump. I guess you don't have to open it, but we use that when we're cooking all the time. Yes, we do. Because I don't like opening that window so much because things like this Blow smoke out. blows yeah. in on things. But anyway, that's a meh thing. But I, I, I love the fact that you've got such headroom. It creates yeah, it's such so an much air space. of, um, yeah, there really of is. space in there. It, there really it's, is. it's brilliant. This I love. I love having this thing so I can cook here, do a little bit of prep here, but I don't do all my yep. cooking and prepping and things here which is good. We'll get back to those in a bit. Decent sized fridge with a little freezer compartment. Same as ours, apart yeah. from it's manual. Yeah. Really and we painful. And forgetting. Yeah, it's, it's... So hang on, explain what you mean by manual. So uh, we have a Dometic um, fridge, same, exactly the same size, same fridge, but the control panel's automatic. So you can put it on three-way and when you start driving, it goes to battery. When you stop, it goes back to gas. So if when we drive, mains, we it, tend to have the fridge on battery. When we drive, we always have the fridge on battery because yeah. it saves the gas Yeah. Um, and the engine's going. So it, it's When we're wild camping, the light. fridge is obviously on gas. Yes. You don't want the fridge on battery because it'll drain it. And but you can't the, have it hook up. These won't allow battery. They, nope. they, they, they should be wired so that um, if the engine's not running, the battery won't work. So does this, because it's manual, 
If we have it on battery when we're driving, does it just turn off completely when we stop the engine? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I'll have a look. Either. I would have so thought ours, so to save. But... We will have it on battery while we're driving and it will change automatically. Oh, Could it can't it, change it, to gas. Yeah, it can. But now that we turn the gas off when we drive. No, we don't. Do we? No, we have a crash. Um, I thought we always turned our gas off when we drive. Nope, we have a crash valve. Oh, the original... Lovely. The original one, the McLuhan, we always turned the gas off when we were yeah. driving because there was no crash um, hose on it. Oh. With our van now, with Wanda, she has a crash hose. So in the event of an accident, it yeah. shears the hose and cuts the gas off anyway. So you don't have to turn it off when you drive? Um, no. I, I'm sure I've turned it off a few times. You probably have, but given that the heating inside the van yeah. is travel heating as well you need so the gas for true. that yeah, so it's, it's designed to have yeah, and this right, is the it same is. it's designed to have yeah, travel right, heating. Um, and one thing actually if you want to swing it around one thing we did wrong um because we didn't know is when you are lighting the fridge so you turn this dial here is off then it's hooker battery and gas so you swivel it around to gas and then you hold this in this is the lighter button but you also have to hold this one in for what, five seconds? Yeah. Until they let you hear it until, clicking and then you'll hear it whoosh. Until the little dial at the side and then, goes green. Yeah, so you see the little orange bit there when it's off. I mean, I, I could turn it off to be fair. There you go, now it's white. And then if I, if I turn it back round to gas, if you just want to pull out a little bit, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, there we go. And then you hold that in and hold that in. It's not clicking. Why are they not clicking? All the way around. Let go of the ignition. Hold the gas in first. Then. It's not clicking. Why? Let me hold that for you to No, it was. You lit. Oh, I've lit it. Oh, I thought it clicked. It does click. It's just very quiet. It's oh. Very well. well so now that's like... gone from the white bit to the green bit. Okay, we didn't do that particularly well, but never mind. No. While we're doing funky things, let's have a look at this thing. So, what are we on now? We're on Sunday, Sunday lunchtime, aren't we? Well, Sunday morning-ish. We, 12.4 volts on the battery. Have we got anything electric on? Uh, yeah, we've got the heating on there. Oh, that's true. Yeah, heating's going. We're using one amp. We're amp on the heating. Um, we're on the leisure battery, which is useful. Internal temperature is 24 degrees. I don't believe that. That's completely wrong. Yeah, that is probably two yeah. or three degrees About hotter 19 than 19 degrees, 20 degrees right. now, because we've just put the... Um, then there's settings. Yeah. And our waste is at 27, 28%. <laughs> it goes up as I stare at it. Okay. And our water level, now that is really impressive. So we've had three quick showers. Yep. And I washed my hair, so that's four... One really long shower. So we've had four showers, including one hair wash shower, which is just long. And we've still got half a tank of fuel, uh, uh, water left. Yes. Which I'm really impressed at. Mm. Um, it's quite a neat control panel. Like yeah, this. that's really neat. And I like the fact, so that turns the water on and off. Yeah. Now, we have had some issues with this pump. In fairness to Bailey, in the instruction manuals, it says your pump might not be calibrated quite right. And we'll get to that. We'll show you how what I we think had to do. I think a lot of that was about it's a brand new van. Yeah, brand there new are a van. A few bits. I, I think since coming back, because it's the one that was used at the show. Yeah. So since coming back from the show, things like the leisure battery wasn't uh, coupled up correctly. Yeah. The, the water pressure. So it's not really been set up to go out to a customer. Yes. Um, no, no. I mean, it says obviously because I think what well, if somebody calibrates the water pump while you're plugged in on mains, it's slightly different than how you would use it if you're plugged in or not plugged in. So we've had to recalibrate the pump, but that this I love that and that turns your lights on and off. Yep. Which is cool, and that turns your awning light on and off, which is really cool. I really like that panel actually. Um, TV we haven't touched or used. These are your, your big lights. Oh, mm. right, you can stand up there and show that. And then this is your trimmer heating. Yep. Um, which is currently on 22 degrees, and you press that and you go across. Standard it. system, the same as. Well, uh, it's a standard but it's got one. the iNet. Um, What's that? Uh, you can have an app and control it from an app so you can turn the heating on and off remotely okay. and things like that. Okay. So, um, so there's a microwave. There's which a again, microwave. Shiny, new, we've never used it. We haven't even unwrapped the plate. Up in this cupboard, we put all of the stuff that's brand new and comes with it that we haven't touched. Yeah. There's no need for us to use it, so we can. Okay. And I, again, I'm really impressed by how much proper usable. It's taken me a while to get used to these. Catches. Button catches, especially out, these ones. Ours close automatically. Yeah, because yeah. you shut ours and they shut. 
I'm, but these, I mean, if it was ours, we, I'd literally just pile jumpers in there. But if it was ours, I'd put some sort of shelf. Oh, or shut, I'd that's use how she packs them. Yeah, don't, I mean, don't, don't, shelf. don't, don't, don't listen to her. There's none of this. Oh, I pack everything so nice. I pack nice. everything so amazingly. Actually, no. Whereas, <laughs> we'll go this way and I will show you mine. There's mine. Neat. Tidy. <laughs> All organised. <laughs> Okay, I'll just do wardrobe actually while we're doing clothes. Yeah. So one thing we did forget to bring is hangers. Yes. So we so, didn't bring any hangers. So we've literally just, just got two coats them. in there. But actually that's a very good wardrobe. It's not bad space, is it? No, I quite like that. Yeah, it's not yeah. a bad space. I do quite like it. One thing I miss that we, we actually had to add it in on ours, didn't we? Is a mirror out here. We I did have it. Why. So yeah, I'd probably put a mirror on the door, something. Okay, bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Let's, let's this like is the um, the exciting part. Is that the exciting really, part? Really, really interesting. Fair, yeah, this is so funky chicken dance. Are we ready for this? Take my shoes off, actually, but never mind. So, um, you can literally stand. I can just touch the walls, but like. Not really. Aren't you supposed to have your clothes off in the shower? <laughs> okay. I, 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 I was just checking. Um, and the headroom is awesome. It's And the shower genius. is actually really good. Very, very and good. And I didn't use much. I had like proper shower this morning. Mm. Shampoo, conditioner, and it used very little water. It's a um, really one of good those, shower. I really like the, it. Whirlpool heads or something. They're yeah. really, really clever it's units. One of, it's just like... It looks like a normal shower, but it's fairly powerful. But what I really like is that this area stays dry. Yes. So you can come out and get dressed. Now, yes, yeah, this area's a little compact, and if I'm going to sit on the toilet, then my knees are a little bit close to the door. I can shut the door, but you swivel a bit. You can turn the toilet around, though. Yeah, I know you can. But this area is pretty dry. Mm. And one thing we have had an issue with, and I'll grab that, is there's something about this shower door that isn't right. So you, that catch will go fine on that. So that bit stays still, but that bit moves. Or when you push them both back, that bit doesn't shut. And then you can't fold it the other way. We've tried that. So there's something there's something wrong with that. And I don't know what. It just doesn't work quite right. Huge, massive store. And I like this. What a brilliant place to put all your toiletries and keep them dry. And the lights are quite cool as well. One thing we're having a real issue with is this puppy crate, um, which is why we've just taken her out. We are having a huge it. issue with that puppy because crate. Because it's huge, and we know that anyway, it's a huge puppy crate. Yes, you're the so, puppy. Yes, yes, you're the puppy. You are the issue. Yes, you are, Elaine. Oh, baby, come on. Have you been in your crate? Do you think we don't love you? So, yeah, we have, there's nowhere we, obvious to... We've covered that one because that's where, where Max kind of sleeping all the time yeah uh, so we've covered that but don't so he sleeps on the bed with that don't thing, really the the, the day. Yeah, yeah oh it's that you're trying to eat that's my hairband no it's fine it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's fine um yes that that crate is too big i want i want to get a collapsible crate but one thing we have figured out is we need four seatbelts yes because even though jay doesn't come traveling with us very much if she does want to come in for a couple of days, we've got no way of taking her. Yes. And normally we put a seatbelt around that to keep it mm. safe. I don't like having it on the seat when we're traveling in case it comes off and there's no way of securing it. So, yeah. And he, we can't just like, well, there's no seatbelt to put a seatbelt harness on him. Mm. And I, yeah, I wouldn't leave him loose or put his lead anyway because he would chew through it. So yeah, we're having a bit of an issue with the dog crate, but that's okay, we can fix it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the dog crate in the shower, which is where it lives during the day, along with the puppy, if you don't stop biting my wrist, young man. Um, and then we're going to make the bed up, because that was my biggest bugbear. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So, the puppy crate, so all I've done this is... has been our biggest argument for the past year. It's not an argument, because we both agreed that we didn't really want to do it. We both thought that this was going to be a problem. I kind of like the idea more than, than you did because I'm used to um, caravans. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we make up the bed because we made it up four different ways with the cushions so we got one that was actually really comfy and it is actually genuinely really comfy. The lines don't bother me at all. So I'm just going to show you how we do that. So shift off, babe. Shift off. Good boy. 
Move them out of the way. Move that over there for now. Get that up there. And then under here is the folding table, freestanding folding table, which is always useful. All of our bedding and this bit. So what I would normally do is pull out all the bedding. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not going to make the whole thing up. Put that back down. So the headrest or the backrest off this side goes in first, upside down. And I put it with the bit that should be on the top closest to the wall. Then that bit goes on there. And you pull that bit out. I want to time this actually. the way puppy dog good boy that one there so you've got the roll with your knees that goes closest to the window that goes on that way this bit which is the infill bit i didn't think we'd need but actually makes all the difference that goes on there back off this other side goes underneath which is really going to upset the puppy because he's going to find himself trapped and then this can you see that roll that would be really annoying. So turn that one over and put the roll by the window. Hello, sweetheart. In there. And then we got a fitted sheet. I think it's a double sheet, isn't it? Yep. Double, and literally it fits really, Perfect. really well. It takes 30 seconds to put that on and then you just got your duvet and your pillows. Done. What was that? Two minutes? If that. If that. We'll check the timing. I'd have to help, but for the benefit of the video, I need to watch. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. I need to make sure that yeah. everything is yeah. exact. It is surprisingly easy. It's surprisingly comfy. Yes, that's That's true. the bit that I, I am I most really like. shocked at. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Good boy, mind yourself, mind yourself, mind yourself. I really, really like having a low bed because yes. I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about him falling out of bed, which I do I with our drop down one. I mm. really worry about him rolling off it in the night. Um, the only thing that's a bit of a pain is like this morning when I went out to watch the sunrise, I literally had to sort of clamber over you. But you do that in our bed anyway. No, I don't because I get off the other side and go underneath. Oh, you are the most helpful dog I've ever met. So that's the bed. Cool. Light the lights. Not sure about the USB chargers. Lights are the same light. as ours. They've just got USB chargers on them. Yeah. Um, I, can, I mean, you, you'll see that. So I sleep nearest the door. That I know, I know, I know. was my lead last night. Hidden behind the curtain so I could charge the phones. It, to be fair. The fact that we're in a place that's got my phone signal has got nothing to do with it. But hey. Um, but it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. No. Um, and I love this section. In fact, do you want me to... So, um, I'm to... going to move back. We really bit. like... I'm like, I've got this seat. I've got my shoes on. I can't bother to take them off. I like... You know, this would normally turn, but we've got stuff behind the seat. And I can't bother to move it. Absolutely love the cat. That's really... And I like the feeling of space. Mm. And the one thing you lose with a dinette is you don't have so much space. Thank you, pup. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I know it's He's your side. I know at walk time. You talk talk amongst yourself for a minute. Oh, puppy dog, go on that way. That's your bench. Good boy. I've got my Sit. shoes on, haven't I? I know. I've got my shoes on. Um, yeah, really, really like the width and the height and the space. It's great. Yeah, it, it yeah. feels so big and bright. So you're not Give walking it, around into a... Given it's, it's a good but two and a half metres. But I miss having a... Fit. Get off! Oi! That's your bench. Here. Back. Here. Good boy. Sit. Um, I miss having a fixed table. And I know there is the table there that you can put up, mm. but who's going to bother doing that? For me, there are two things. If we were having this van, yeah. then if we were buying this van, I would be fitting here a drop-down swing-out table that could be used for uh, just eating up or as a, a little workbench. That, yes. That's my only issue on this point. It's okay, genius. and what do you think of the cab? Cab's the same as ours. Um, Nice it, it's than it's lovely finish. It's really the nice. the, the little, little the little bits that, that that 
Bailey seem to do very, very well. And, and the finish is superb. Yeah. Now, the skylight, exactly the same as our skylight, yep. apart from this is a lot quieter. It doesn't so rattle, manual. doesn't well, make a lot of noise. Um, doesn't kill your battery trying to open it. And it's got five fixing points. And that's where which the difference brilliant. is. Now, whether it's because ours was a, a, a 2015 model and I've changed it since then, but ours is a power drive, which A, is a problem. It, choose through the ledger battery on yeah, the damn it thing. It's only got two securing points. So when you're driving, it flaps in the wind. Yeah. It's a real problem on there. This, however, has five fixings. Yeah. It's manual, so it's easy. I'm liking manual. Yeah. I, I like... Well, manual last makes battery last longer. <laughs> I don't know if you mentioned the fact that there's a solar panel, actually. The reason panel. we've been able to do so well over the last two days and the battery's doing so well is we have got a solar panel, yeah, which awesome. we reckon gives us about half an amp when it's sunny. Is that what we no, we can get a couple of amps when it's sunny. Oh, okay. A couple of amps yeah, an hour. Right, but the cab I love. Uh, I love the, the seats to finish on Dean, the upholstery. I, I really beautiful. like the colour scheme. Yeah. It's just my colour scheme. It, I love it. it. And I love this whole section. It really is. Yeah, and they're really comfy. Yep. Yeah. So, what don't we like about the cab? Um... About the cab. It's so not about, like the sat-nav. about the, the sat-nav is a basic car sat-nav, so you it can't put your with. dimensions in. Yeah. And it's, I find it really, really, really hard to see and understand and things. Pretty Can you like the it fact just that feels the steering it. wheel had stuff on it? That, um, we no, it's just different. Enough. The This model has a couple of the control units on the yeah. steering wheel. Which is easy. Um, now... I haven't used any of them. I use the cruise control <laughs> all the time, but I don't use the uh, uh, the voice command and things like no. that. No. But it, it's... But it's got the same splines that we've got, the pull-across splines, which we love awesome. so easy, yeah. and they just fold back these ones. Now, Shush, I know there are people. So anything else inside you want to talk about? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the hatch and see if we can see the solar panel with the GoPro. Maybe. Show up, show up top. I'm guessing it's over this side. I would say it's somewhere okay. back. Do you reckon? Can we see it? Oh yeah, maybe. I guess, but it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yep. That's right on the yeah. That's quite cool. It's very neat. So let's um, go outside and we'll do a quick tour around the outside. Only a single battery. Oh yeah. So this part I really like. The battery yeah. compartment. Now oh, it put me off initially because it was only one leisure battery, but actually there's a bit of a floor safe as well. It's quite good. So You've got I a nice little that. storage section there that you could put cables or whatever in. Now but go also, on then. There we go. If you want to um, hide That's stuff your battery while you're compartment. Out, Single battery. Yeah. The battery wasn't it wasn't connected properly, so we were having a couple of errors and things. Um, shh, 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 it was entirely down stay. to uh, the terminals. Where, but yeah, it's uh, quite neat that. Actually, I should probably show the interior water tank, which again we like because if we do go somewhere like the mountains, it keeps it all inside. Keeps it warm in winter. So under here is a trimmer oh, heater unit and oh. the cold water sink. Yeah. Now, now, which was the bit that you had to adjust for the so pump? There, that is the pressure valve for the pump. There's an inbuilt pump in there, it's a whale pump, uh, it's a submersible thing. Works great, but that does the pressure. And you had to turn it anti clockwise, didn't you? And you had to turn, yeah, so you could adjust the pressure, otherwise, it was just running constantly. Yeah, it's the trimmer heating system, standard trimmer heating unit. Puppy mm. spectacular there. As you can see, puppy is uh, is describing this very, very well. Yeah, mine is set. Mac, Mac, away. Cool, so let's just do a quick walk around outside. And we will leave these. I do the love time. the Bailey hub keys. Oh, yeah. Quite neat. Those yeah. are a good perch. On there. Okay, I'm up. Right. So. So. Outside the roller skate, it has got an awning. <laughs> You're calling it a roller skate. I do. I do. It's it's like it. get two of them. It's a pair of roller skates. I mean, it's you tiny. Fix, you can fix a uh, bike, bike rack. rack yeah. To. Or the um or, or the box or whichever. I'm not sure about it. So I'm presuming you can fit. Uh, for the Toba. Now this, I should point out, is not ours. No, Nothing that was boy this. races last night. Yes, it was. Uh, we've I mean, we it. did a quick run through of things anyway. So in here is your toilet cassette. I think yep. it's locked. Oh, 
maybe it's not actually. No, it's not. Okay. So there's the toilet cassette. I'm not going to take it out now. That's a filler for the toilet. That's how, yeah. So that's just the toilet filler, yep. isn't it? Gas locker, which can fit two gas bottles locked. Yeah, okay. Two so gas bottles in there. Really, really, there. really flat. I reckon you could get a 12 kilogram and a six kilogram. So oh, we don't know how much gas we've used so far, do we? No, we don't. We've been using it pretty much constantly for heating for mm. fridge because we've been wild camp most of the last two days. Mm. Um, yeah, we have no idea how much we've used. Outlet for the heating system. I'm glad you, you know what? I was just pointing and not actually talking, was I? Yeah. There's a thing, um, fill up for the water. Fill up with the water? Did you say filler for the water or fill up of the water? It sounded like you said fill up of the water. You've gone all very, very... <laughs> it's where you put the water in. Yeah. Why? Very ancient English. <laughs> uh, ramps that came with it. Magnum ramps, apparently. Whatever they are. Magnum And um, the front what of a... Uh, that... A mohawk. Oh, diddy. Uh, yes. But it doesn't uh, feel diddy. It's like a TARDIS. Yeah. No, it is tiny. Um, you can park it in a, a normal car parking space. I tell you what, we'll go back inside and, yep. and have our final. So, so, we have been in there for 48 hours, give or take. We've been wild camping most of that time. We've been to supermarkets. We have had the dog. How do you feel? Had guests. This van is what? Nearly two meter, meter. And a, it's two, over a metre and a half shorter than ours. Two metres shorter than ours. Right. And what do you feel we have missed or lost or what? What's your the opinion? The only bit that I think we would possibly need is a little dinette. Yeah. I love this layout. Yeah. I love the openness. Yeah, the space it. It, it's, is amazing. I would have this van in a heartbeat. Yeah. If you uh, didn't which, have to work. given the fact that, that we've got an eight meter van yeah. with loads of space and end you lounge and everything yeah. else in there, this yeah. is perfect. Now, the only caveat to that, because we went through all of our lockers and figured out what we had on our van and what we could fit where in this van, and the only thing that was a problem was our bike helmet. Yes, so however... that locker gets completely filled up with your bedding. Mm. This locker's already full. So clothes and things are fine. And you can fill these lockers full because you don't have to worry about the bed dropping mm. down. The back and that storage there is amazing. The, ki uh, the bathroom storage is amazing. But, so the only thing is our bike gear. So, but if we could put our bike gear in the box on the trailer, Which not a problem. Is what we're looking at. And the helmets, yeah. worst case, the helmets could go at the bottom of the wardrobe. It's quite a deep yeah. wardrobe, so we could put we really the helmets to. at the bottom of the wardrobe, yeah. but it wouldn't take all the bike gear as well. No, we couldn't put all the um, bike gear in here, but we could put all our stuff that we use to live in the space on, which is amazing. It actually. is a real shock. Yeah. So my biggest problem with it is because you work as we travel, and to be fair, I do now with the blog and YouTube things, is that I think we would struggle in this space, both, uh, no... I think we'd struggle in this space, both working. Yes. Which is why having the diner and then the separate area at the back works mm. really well for us. And I am not sure how well, this is brilliant if you're not working mm. and you know, you're a couple that like each other, but there is no space to spread oh, out. Do we not like each other? No, no, no. <laughs> I was like, if you are a couple that likes each other and is quite happy living in a small space, like on top of each other all the time. Um, but we're not really, I mean, I, I use, so I use these chairs as, as kind of my office bit over the yeah. last couple of days. I sit in the driver's seat, I turn the passenger seat round and, and, and put my laptop on there. Yeah. So it's quite, it's nice having that separate one. If we had this van, yeah. I would definitely put a curtain up across this section here so I could partition off the cab purely for, purely for those moments when I'm, I'm on the phone and, those and, moments. and you're sat back. <laughs> the, those, uh, those rare, the, rare the, the, moments. Those few when occasional. Work, the phone is on from sort of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The, the few um, occasions where, um, yes. where but, my phone may tingle. Where your moment. phone may yes. tingle. Um, which is what my issue is. It's not the odd phone call, it's constant. So I like this van a lot. I like this van so much more than I thought I would. Excuse me. Um, I thought we would feel quite claustrophobic in it. Yes. Sorry, no. And I thought at the end of a weekend, we'd be like, no. 
But actually, I could quite happily go off and... Part of, me, part of me was dreading yes. this weekend because it was just yes. like, oh, my God, it's going to be so a painful. And then on top of that, we invited friends. Uh, and it was like, how are we going to entertain? What yes. we gonna, It's going to be a We're not going to be able to fit in anything. I think the biggest problem we've had with this weekend has been him. Because it's not our van, I've been so conscious about you know, not yes. letting him on chairs or seats or things. Or like trying to make sure he doesn't scratch something. We've, we've got something. the big, you know, the big travel box for him yeah. and things like that. Whereas... And, He's actually not been that bad, but it's so much more stressful than it is when it's our van and if he happens to scratch a bit, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, he's been the biggest issue. But actually the space and the van and the layout has worked for the three of us. Van, it's worked the, brilliant. The van is super. The, but the, it wouldn't work for Jade, with us, with Jade. No, there's a couple of bits. We do need, for us, we need four seatbelts. Yes, we do. Um, or at least, you know, no, we need four seatbelts. Yeah. Um, but we have learned we can do the bench layout. Bench layout is super. Which has actually been really good. One thing actually I didn't mention is because you're sleeping here, when you sit up and you've got the blinds down like that, you're actually leaning against the blind, which is a bit of a pain. It's, yeah, it's not great. So we kind of sit more in the corners. Um, or you just put the blind up and you can see you in bed. Yeah, whatever. But that's been a bit of a thing. But I've really, I thought I'd hate this. And I don't think I sleep at all because I'm quite a light sleeper. And I don't like an uncomfortable bed. That's what she says. She's been snoring for the oh, last two days. Bailey's, that bed is perfect. Yeah, it's really good. Really comfy. Mm. Yeah. For me, 100%. Well yeah, it's done. Nice, Absolutely isn't it? amazing, it's really nice. amazing vehicle. Yeah. Unbelievable layout. Love it. Yeah. Completely. I, I, people, I would. Or two people with a dog, it's brilliant. It's the first motorhome. That I would say, pff, do you know what? I'd give up our bus for this. Ooh, would you? Mm. Um, you can't get the seatbelt directory fitted on a, on a sideways bench. That's an issue. Oh, we could get a fixing for him. That, it's mainly a harness point for him. Yes. But I, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. The shower's amazing. The, the seating, the layout's brilliant. Yeah, I cool. quite happily. Okay. All right. On that point. So that is the Alliance 592. I hope that was useful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Mm. If you have got any questions, ask them below. And if you're not subscribed, think about it. And we will put up some more videos soon that hopefully you'll find useful and enjoyable. Till next time. Bye. 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 Say bye. bye. Say bye, Matt. He's like, no, walk. Back. Walk. Back. Say bye. When they are gone, then we are out. We're talking about a good time. We're chasing every morning.